Teresa from Outpost, the Pain and Turtles in Hospital Camp program, where we bring camp to the hospital or wherever you are. Today, we are going to do something really fun. I am someone who loves fidget spinners, who loves poppets. Um, I like anything that can keep my hands busy while I'm trying to focus or concentrate or while I'm watching TV to keep my hands busy. So I thought today I would teach you how to make your very own fidget. This is super easy. It only requires a couple of supplies um, and it's something that you can sit and play with and fidget with if you're maybe feeling a little anxious or a little nervous or just need something to keep your hands occupied. So if you wanna find out how to make this cool fidget, stay tuned. To make a fidget, you just need a few supplies some scissors, some string, and some beads. I would recommend seven to 10. I chose a combination of blues and purple for my fidget because to me, those colors seem relaxing. To make your fidget, you are going to thread your string through either side of your bead. So one end of your string is going to go to the left of your bead and the other end of your string is going to go through the right side of your bead. Once you get both ends through your bead, you're going to pull it tight until that bead is all the way at the end of your string. And it should look like this with a little loop over the top. You're going to continue doing that same thing until you have all of your beads attached to your string. So loop one end through the left and one end through the right and pull tight. it should start looking like this. And depending on the size of your hand, if you want this to just fit in the palm of your hand nicely, you might use seven beads. If you want to use both of your hands, you can use closer to 10 beads. Really up to you and your preferences on how many beads you'd like to string onto your fidget. Once all of your beads have been strung onto your string, you're going to leave some room at the end, maybe an inch, then you're going to tie a knot. And then if you have some extra string at the end of your knot, you can just cut it off. Now your fidget should look like this. This is just an option, but if you'd like to to add a key ring or a carabiner to the end of your fidget so that you can hang it on your backpack or just hang on to the ring at the end, um, you can easily do that. So you'll just scooch all your beads down to the end where you've tied your knot and loop your carabiner or your key ring onto the end. I think I'm going to opt for a key ring here since it's a little bit smaller. So I'm just gonna loop my keyring through the end of my fidget, and there you go. Now your fidget is complete and you can start fidgeting. So you're just going to pinch and slide the beads back and forth across your string. Depending on what kind of string you use, it might be a little stiff at first, but as you maneuver it more and more, they'll get easier and easier to slide back and forth. I hope you enjoyed making your very own fidget. Maybe you can teach somebody else how to make a fidget. Um, 
maybe this is something that will be useful to you, something that you can use to keep your hands and your mind busy while you are hanging out. If you liked this video, join us next time for some more camp fun. Bye. Thanks for joining us. To learn more about the Painted Turtle, a camp for children with serious medical conditions, visit our website, www.thepaintedturtle.org. See you next time.